Hi guys, we are back with another review. Today I'm testing out M Cosmetics Daydream Cushion. Let's see if this is oily skin approved. Make sure to watch until the very end for a wear test. This recently launched and I am so pumped to try this out. I haven't used a cushion in a couple of years and I just wanna get into this. So this is $48, which I know it does sound on the pricier side, but keep in mind it does come with a refill. And then also this compact, you only buy it once and that's it. You just buy the refill for the future. So to me, the $48 doesn't seem as bad. You get a refill, you just use this compact over and over again, and that's all you need. I just wanted to say that because I've been watching reviews and a lot of people in the comments are saying, this is too expensive, it's overpriced, so I just wanted to let you guys know. I got the shade Sweet Secret, and honestly, I was stuck between two shades. It was either the one before that, which looked a little too light, but then Sweet Secret looked almost too tan on me. It was really hard to choose since I'm stuck between the light and medium. I'm at the very end of light and then I'm also the very beginning of medium. I don't know about you guys, but I tend to struggle finding that right shade for me. There's six shades total, which you might think, oh, that's just not enough shades, but keep in mind a traditional cushion doesn't come with a lot. At least for the Asian brands, I'm too dark which is really surprising because I'm not really that dark at all. In the description, it says, perfect and protect your complexion with the serum infused tinted cushion. Sheer buildable formula provides a hint of color to enhance skin tone and diffuse imperfections. Refreshing micronutrient complex enriched with niacinamide, snow mushroom extract, green papaya fruit extract, green tea extract, rice water, and goji berry extract to help hydrate and refine skin's texture. So with all that being said, this is not a foundation, this is a skin tint, which now makes a lot more sense that there are only six shades. So this could probably fit for someone who is darker than me. Um, I don't know if it fits someone anyone lighter than me. I think they would have to go the shade below. I think I'm on the end of the spectrum for Sweet Secret as far as as light as you can go. I think that would be me. It also says it's a multi-use formula, can be used as a primer under foundation, worn alone as a tinted SPF, or paired with concealer for customizable coverage. Just holding it in my hand, it already feels really nice. It's slim which I like because compacts tend to be bulky. So I really love that because that's kind of one of the reasons why I stopped using compacts. They were just a little too bulky for me. <laughs> I'm so excited. All right, so opening it up, this is the cushion. It says M Cosmetics. I really love that. This is a nice teardrop shape so you can really get into the crevices, under the eyes, around the nose. Perfect. It also has a mirror. Let's actually take this mirror off. I find this to be very satisfying. Let's listen. Ooh, that is satisfying. I love that. And then you open it up and it says, your dream awaits you. That was also satisfying. I'm going to do one side of my face so we can compare both sides and see how much this actually covers. Did I somehow pick the right shade for me? Because I'm shocked. On the model, she has a darker skin tone than me. So I'm really surprised this is somehow working on my skin tone. I can actually see a difference. This does have light to medium coverage. So you can build it up a little bit. It does cover up some of the darkness under my eyes. As you guys can see, it does cover some of my hyperpigmentation. Like I had one on my chin that is not as visible. I personally would want some more concealer, but not bad. And it's not that dewy. I was expecting it to be way more dewy. Now I prefer not matte, not dewy, kind of something in between. I like how it doesn't look as dewy as I thought it was going to. So now let's do the other side. I have more hyperpigmentation on this side, so we'll see. And keep in mind, you don't want to swipe like this. You want to pat because if you swipe, you're actually taking the coverage off. I don't know why my pinky's doing this. So try not to focus on my fingers. And this is what my skin looks like after. I'm a little surprised on how much coverage it has. You know, my hyperpigmentation is not fully covered. It is peeking through a little bit, so I can always go in with concealer. But this is a really nice tint. It kind of reminds me of the Kosas Tinted Face Oil. The look of it and the finish, very similar. So if you don't like compacts, I would totally go for this one. So I'm going to quickly do my makeup. And we're back. I thought I would just do a minimal makeup look. And since this is an M Cosmetics review, I thought I'd apply a couple of other products. This one is the True Gloss and the Blush Serum in Rose Milk. I wanna mention this puff is reusable so you can clean it. It says on their website, to cleanse, add a quarter size drop of any soap or cleanser to the M Puff. 
Fill a small plastic bag with water and add puff. Seal the bag and massage the puff until clean. Remove puff, rinse with warm water, and place on a towel to air dry. That is so important because you should be cleaning your puffs, your sponges, any of your makeup brushes. So don't forget to do that every now and then. As far as their pro tips, they recommend reapplying the daydream every two hours if you're outside for maximum sun protection. So if you were in this alone and not with another sunscreen, I would definitely reapply it. It also says to extend the life of your cushion, flip the sponge over using tweezers when the cushion begins to feel dry. I actually learned this from Michelle Fawn a while ago. I remember that tip and at the time I did have a cushion and I did that and I was like, wow, this will last me at least another month. And then it also says for a satin or matte finish, set daydream cushion with translucent powder, which that's exactly what I did. Since I have oily skin, there's no way I could just go with the daydream cushion. I need some powder for my skin. I will see you guys at the end of the day. It's finally the evening time. You know how some makeup products you feel like you have to wash it off immediately or you're so excited by the end of the day to wash it off because it feels heavy, cakey, maybe even itchy? This does not feel that way at all. It feels so lightweight on the face. And I'm excited to see what my skin actually looks like. Hmm. I don't look as oily as I thought I would. All of their imagery online, everyone has very like glowy and dewy skin. My guess is because they only wore this and not any powder. But powdering my skin really helps. Like if I did not do any touch-ups, which I didn't do today, I don't feel like I need to do touch-ups. I feel good about it. Like I don't feel like a grease ball, which I tend to feel like a grease ball usually right here right here. I need to fix it around lunchtime and now that it's around 5 p.m. I don't feel that way at all and I did no retouching. So I'm pretty impressed. Since it is the end of the day and I'm going to be washing this off no matter what, I want to try to apply this with the powder and see how it looks and feels because they did suggest applying this every couple of hours if you're just wearing this alone. So I kind of want to see how it works because this is something that I wouldn't usually do. I don't know how, but you can actually layer this. I'm really surprised. Even with that powder on my skin, it is a light powder, it's a translucent powder. It's not cakey at all. This applies so nicely. I'm really shocked, which makes me think I can actually apply this again throughout the day. Guys, this is a really great product. I highly recommend. I think it's worth the price, especially since you get a refill and you only have to buy the compact once. So that's really it to this review. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to like it and subscribe to this channel for more fashion and beauty content. If you guys want to see me review any other M Cosmetics products, I'll leave it right here, but also let me know in the comments below what others. I'll catch you guys in another video. Bye. I can't believe it. I was able to apply this multiple times. I don't know why.